Microsoft Dynamics 365 sharing records. In this section, we'll talk about how to share records with other users and teams. First of all, we need to make sure that users have the ability to share records. So here is my security role. So through my environments, through the Power Platform Admin Center, I'm looking at the sales team role and if I look at accounts, so I'm going to use account records, for example, I need to go across to the share permission here and you can see users don't have access to share records. To allow that, I need to choose how they can share records. So I'm going to say, for example, that users can only share account records within my business unit. So the business unit that owns the account record in the first place. To share the record, I go to the front end. So I'm in the sales hub here and I've gone to accounts. I open up the account record that I want to share and I can see at the moment this record is owned by me. So it's within my business unit. So based on the security role, I'll be allowed to share this record with someone else in my business unit. All I need to do is go to the share option here and I can manage access to the record. So if I wanted to give access to another user or another team here, I could say I want to give access to the sales team. I can search for sales and I can see there is my sales team and I can also pick an individual. So let's say I want to share this with this other user here. All I need to do then is tick the box to say what access can this user have? Uh, sorry, this team. And so I'll say they're going to have read and write access. But for this particular user, let's say, for example, that they're going to want to be able to do other things with it and I can allow them to share it with other people as well. Then I just need to click the share button and those settings will be applied. So to the sales team, they'll be able to read and write, but to the other user, Jay, he'll be able to read, write, append, append to, assign, and share. Here's an example of a record that is owned by a team. So we can see here AdventureWorks, our sample company here in our sample data set, is owned by a team. So to be able to assign this record or share this record, Again, because the sharing option is set to business unit, this sales team would need to be in the same business unit as me for me build to be able to share that record with someone else. Again, manage access. And if I wanted to share this particular record with another user, I can only assign to people who are within my business unit. I can only set the share, sorry, to people within my business unit. But if, for example, I'd given the organization permission for share on account records for this security role that is assigned to this user and team, I would be able to see all users of the system to be able to share that record outside my business unit. A good example of business units, you could have an organization um, that's split into business units that sit across different countries. Each country could be a business unit and records could be set to read ownership within those different countries. So each country only see their own records, but then you could have a higher level business unit for management and reporting purposes that can see records across all business units to be able to report all in one. So the share option that I just showed you would be used if, for example, a user didn't have access to this record through their own permissions. Records can be shared individually with a user through the option I showed you. The other option is email a link. If you click this, this will pop a new email in your desired client. It could be Outlook, it could be the Mail app. Um, it will pop up and put a link to the record so that can be sent to someone else. However, the person receiving the email needs to be able to have access to the record. So you'd either need to share it with them beforehand or their security role would already need to cover access to that record. Sharing records via a link is much more secure than sending a screenshot of a record. If you send a screenshot of a record to another user, it could accidentally be shared outside the organization, which means data is being exposed to external parties, which you may not want to do. If you use um, email a link, if that email is accidentally sent outside the business, anybody outside the business clicking the link, unless they have a login to Microsoft Dynamics, 
wouldn't be able to access that record, which makes it much, much more secure. And the final option for sharing records here is copy link. So you can see this will pop up, looks very similar to when you use OneDrive or SharePoint. And here you can choose to copy that link, paste it into an email or send it via Teams or however you like. And users will be able to open that record using the link, providing they have a login and providing they have access through their security role to get to the record that you send the link for.